Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in a Fortnite video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my number one building tip on how to build a lot faster and a lot quicker in this game so you guys can outplay and outbuild other players much easier than before. So if you guys are really looking for some building tips to give you an advantage in this game, this is definitely the video for you, so definitely stay to the end of the video. And real quick before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I'm going to be giving away 2,000 V-Bucks every single week. And if you guys want to be a part of this giveaway and win some free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video. And lastly, comment down below either your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account. And you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And also, if you guys like to support me in the item shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code. My creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator. And all right, guys, let's get right to the video. All right, so here in this video, I wanted to give you guys my number one building tip in this game when it comes to building. This is going to allow you to build a lot faster and also just help you win a lot more build fights in this game. Because when it comes to build fighting, it really is a matter of seconds between who gets high ground and who doesn't. So you want to make sure that you're able to build as quickly and as fast as possible. So I have a number one tip. I also want to show you guys a really good strategy that I have been using that has been very effective for me in pub games. So I'm going to be showing you guys that one first. And for the strategy, it's really important because a lot of times when you are going against other players, a lot of times you are in a build fight and it's not really clear who has high ground. Maybe you guys are building at the same rate. So here I am showing you guys exactly what that is. So here in this example, it's say you're ramping against the other player and the other player is probably the same distance as you. Of course, a lot of people would go for the cone, which is a very, very smart play because you're able to get the cone from, as you can see, very, very far back. So if you are able to get the cone off, it is very, very smart. And then you can easily block off the other player and get high ground. Now, there's kind of a problem with this. And the main problem is you can't really tell how close. Because a lot of times if you're ramping against another player, sometimes you really can't see exactly if you're right if your ramps are about to collide or maybe the other player has high ground or not because as you can see when i'm ramping up and i'm placing uh cones at the same time i'm now placing the cone pretty much right as i'm play or right after i'm placing the ramp so by placing a cone it really doesn't give you too much an advantage anyway because unless the ramps are already placed you're not going to be able to get it off as early as you're able to so a lot of people used to go for cone traps as well but traps are no longer in the game so when you are going against another player once the best strategy that i've used against other players is as soon as they place the ramps above you so this assumes that they got high ground so they got high ground just uh, just before you they got the ramps over you what you want to do is place your walls right in in front of that ramp and as you can see here if you're able to place those walls right in front of the ramp the other player on the other side a lot of times they either go for like a ramp flip maybe they'll go for or just maybe they won't go for a shot at all maybe they're just trying to continue to ramp for high ground but if you're able to get off the wall as you can see no matter what they try to do it's going to stop them every single time so if you're ramping up or the other player ramps above you, you place that wall, it's going to block them off. So one's going to stop them in their tracks. And second of all, it's going to prevent them from getting a shot on you. And third of all, they're not going to be able to edit the ramp that's in front of you. Even if they are able to get the edit on the ramp, if you place that wall immediately, they're not going to be able to get a shot on you no matter what. By doing this, this is really, really good because it slows the other player down, meaning that you're going to have momentum. You're going to be able to ramp up, maybe do a side jump, maybe just you know w key with your drum gun spray the wall and then spray the other player whatever you want to do off you know out of that is really just going to be your personal preference but this is a strategy that i have used that has been very very effective and this is something that i really wanted to share with you guys because i don't think i've ever made or ever talked about this in a video but i've been doing this so much in pub games and it's been so so effective i just had to make a video and share it with you guys and so now I want to get into my number one building tip. And this tip is really going to help you guys build a lot quicker in this game, a lot faster, and help you win build fights. Because like I said at the beginning of this video, when you are going against other players in a build fight or just fighting the other player, I mean, it really could be editing. It could be literally anything. It really go comes down to each and every second, every half second. There is a lot of things that go into winning gunfights. And you want to be able to be as fast as humanly possible. So here, I'm just going to show you guys. So when you are, ramp or going to build, you always want to keep momentum 
system no matter what, and that's going to be as much as possible. Sometimes you're not going to be able to do so, but you want to keep your momentum as much as possible because when you are standing still versus when you want to run, you do have like a split second delay, maybe a one second delay when you go from standing still to when you start running. So if you want to be able to build really, really quickly in this game and very fast, what you have to do is you have to be running or sprinting the entire time because if you do that, you're not going to get slowed down and you don't have to wait that extra half second or second from you to go from standing still to that sprinting uh, sprinting animation. So that's very, very important. So when you are building, when you are ramping up against the other player, you always want to keep your momentum no matter what. And you can do this in a lot of ways. And one way that you can do this, do this that has been very effective for me is sometimes you can even run like sideways on your builds. And I will sh demonstrate that in just a second. But always keeping your momentum when you are building against another player is going to give you that slight advantage. And I think Fortnite really is all about slight advantages. So if you're just faster than the other player, you're just quicker than the other player in any sort of aspect, building, editing, maybe shooting your gun, that is the player who's going to be winning the gunfight. That's the person who's going to have the biggest advantage. So really in Fortnite, it comes down to the smallest things and doing that exactly, making sure that you always have momentum when you're building really is going to give you that slightest advantage that is really going to be very effective effective and allow you to win a lot more gunfights in this game. And if you guys were on legacy settings and you guys just now switch over to linear, this is going to be very, very good news for you guys because the movement is a lot smoother and it is a lot better on linear. So it is much easier to keep momentum when you're on linear or exponential settings versus on legacy because on legacy you have the boost and you have a lot of other things that may that may slow you down so as you can see here a lot of times say you place a cone or whatever the case may be you really always want to keep momentum as much as possible and you can do that greatly by running sideways as you can see i kind of swerved around the ramp and by doing this this is going to allow me to keep my momentum and also slow me down just slightly because you always want to keep momentum but at the same time as previously, if you were on legacy settings and you did this exact movement where you try to make a little bit of a sharp turn to your left or right, instead, you would have been able, you would, it would have stopped you in your tracks. So if you played on legacy settings, you did that exact same movement. What would have happened is it would have stopped you just because of the way the input is on legacy settings. So being on linear exponential really is a huge advantage and you can use that, you can use that movement boost to your advantage in this game and allow you to keep momentum when you are ramping up. So that's really the biggest or the number one tip that I have to give you guys and number one takeaway of this video is making sure when you're building that no matter what you're taking your, you're always keeping your momentum so when you are ramping up whether you're doing a high ground retake any sort of editing play and you need to and you need to ramp against the other player always making sure to keep mo as you keep your momentum as much as possible of course you're not always going to be able to because maybe if you want to pop a mini or maybe the other player blocks you off or does something very unexpected of course it is going to slow you down but as much as possible you want to keep your movement because doing doing so is going to give you that that slight maybe just second advantage against the other player which is the big which is a i guess i would say make or break the difference between the other player and having high ground or yourself having high ground so always keeping momentum really is going to give you that little bit of boost that you're going to need when you are going against the other player and the thing I like about this tip as opposed to some other tips when you are getting better at the game is this is something you can immediately implement in your game. It's more of a strategy than like a, like a mechanical type thing. So this really doesn't take a super long time to really master or any sort of thing like that. Being on legacy or exponential settings will give you that movement advantage and you just want to utilize it and utilize it in game. So just keeping this in the back of your head when you are build fighting other players, making sure to keep movement and being as efficient as possible really is going to give you that advantage and allow you to win games here in Fortnite very easily. So like I said, this is not a mechanical thing. You should be able to pick up on this right away. And of course, with a lot of tips, you always want to make sure that you're consciously do this in the in game because when it comes to improving at the game or learning new things, a lot of times you will default back to the, uh, the I guess the previous playstyle that you have. And so when you are learning new things that will give you an advantage like this one, keeping your, mom your momentum when you're building, you want to make sure that you in game really do focus and practice on doing that every single gunfight until it becomes basically second nature or muscle memory to the point where you're doing this no matter what. And that will take a little bit of time. So always keeping this conscious when you are build fighting another player will give you that advantage that you need to win in that gunfight. But with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys found this building tip very, very helpful, and also I probably will tomorrow be dropping, well, it depends on you're watching this video, but at the time of making this video, tomorrow I probably will be dropping like a best exponential settings video because I know a lot of you guys are switching to those settings. So I definitely want to make a settings video on the new exponential uh, settings that I know a lot of people are using in this game. So 
definitely stay tuned if you guys are interested in that video but anyways guys that's wrapping up for this video if you guys enjoyed drop a like make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified for every single new video and all right guys i'll see you next video